In this movie, we'll be using the Anchor Point project to talk about anchor points. Anchor point is really the key to the other transforms we'll be talking about. It's the key to rotation, it's the key to scale, and it also helps when dealing with position as well. Essentially, an anchor point is the center point around which all transformations happen. So what I want to do in this project, in the next movie, we're going to rotate this knight's arm. However, as we select the right upper arm layer here, and there's actually many layers here. I just have them all hidden temporarily so we can only focus on this uh, right upper arm here. As we rotate this, you'll see that it rotates around the anchor point right here, this little center gizmo. Well, unless you have some superpowers that I don't, that's not the way that my arm works. So I'm going to undo that. Hit Control or Command Z. Undo that as well. And let's adjust the anchor point. The shortcut for that is hitting the letter A. Now, here's the problem. When we adjust anchor point in the timeline, watch what happens. You would think just this little gizmo would move, but it doesn't. Watch this. I'll move the X axis of the anchor point, and it appears that we're moving the layer and not moving the anchor point. This is really unintuitive, so I'm going to undo that. There is another way to adjust the anchor point, which I prefer, and that's by going up here to the toolbar and selecting this pan behind tool. It's a weird name, it's a weird icon, but just trust me on this one. And what we can do with this tool is click and drag this anchor point to the area around which it should rotate. Now when we hit Shift R to reveal rotation as well as anchor point, and we rotate rotation, you can see this now rotating around that point, which is much more believable. I'm going to undo that for now. Now before we close out this movie, I got a couple other anchor point related tips for you that are really helpful. So what I'm going to do here for the first tip is go up to the selection tool in the upper left hand corner in the toolbar and select that. This selection tool, this black arrow, is what you'll be using most of the time when you're working in After Effects. And sometimes when you're working, it's a hassle to go all the way back up here to the top of the toolbar to select the pan behind tool, do your work, and then go all the way back to select the selection tool. Now, if you're familiar with other Adobe programs, you probably know you could just hit the keyboard shortcut, which in this case is Y, as you can see from the tooltip there. You hit the letter Y, and it selects the tool, and you can just use keyboard shortcuts in that way. But After Effects has a cooler trick than that. The keyboard shortcut is Y to select the tool, but if I just hold the Y key, I don't let go of it, just hold the Y key down. Down. I get temporary access to the pan behind tool, which I can use to adjust the anchor point. And as soon as I let go of the letter Y on the keyboard, boom, it goes straight back to the selection tool. And that's the way all the tools work in After Effects. So that's the first tip. The second tip in dealing with the anchor point is to always fiddle with the anchor point first. Anchor point and position are closely related. If you've already animated position and then you go back and adjust that anchor point, then chances are you're going to mess up your animation and things won't work quite right. So you always want to adjust the anchor point before animating other properties. Now you can actually animate anchor point. This is good for creating that Ken Burns effect with video where you're panning and moving the video around. So basically you would animate scales, so you would increase the size of a layer and then animate anchor point to kind of move in and out of that layer as you're getting closer. So now that we've got the anchor point in the right spot, let's now move on to talking about rotation, and we'll rotate this guy's arm. 